Chivita Castellana is a town made for painters. Friendly and inexpensive, Chivita is a small medieval town that is just an hour from Rome. Fantastic vistas have brought landscape painters here for centuries. Stand in the footprints of Corot and paint scenes that have changed little since. Join in lively art discussions with other talented painters over fabulous dinners. Reinvigorate your painting with master class study or independent artist residency. Experience the artistic immersion of a lifetime. Just jaw dropping landscape that's just been painted you know so much you know it just summons up very very deep feelings regarding probably reside you know in some of our deepest you know pictorial desires I mean the landscape here really has a way of bringing that out things converge in a place like this and that's why I think it's such a perfect place to to come and paint in this whole area here is just, you know, full of little towns that were, you know, itinerary stops for painters during the 17th, 18th, and 19th century on their, on their grand tour. You know, everyone from Corot and Valenciennes and Michelin and, and Ang. I mean, they were, you know, they all came through here and they visited all these towns around here. Just south of here is the little town of Nepi. I mean, it's just an amazing city. You know, Stel I mean, just the, you know, the views there are just, they're breathtaking. They're breathtaking. You know, to Narni, where Caro did that amazing painting, The View of Narni, um, you know, it's all within reach. It's, it's all in this area. And having been in other parts of Italy over the years um, and painted there, it was really wonderful um, to have the opportunity to do that. But this time, um, I would say Israel and Yael gave me exactly what I needed in painting. They not only found this wonderful place um, for all of us to paint and created this great collaborative community, young people, older people, various levels of experience, so for me, what I liked about the way Israel and Yael discuss painting is there was a level of complexity that I find very rare. Um, I find that most people um, have difficulty maybe accessing that level of complexity or sharing it. Um, their discussions of color and the place and the sense, the time of day, all of those things took on a level that, that I've you know, that has just been profound and timely. So I think I was ready to hear them. And they were ready to work with all of us and, and come to where we are at, in our painting. So I, so that's all good. Everything was great and um, beautiful studio, beautiful place. But I think the, the people that came on this trip were really would be tough to replace, although I'm sure there's another batch out there willing to come. But uh, the people from JSS uh, were extraordinary, and then the others that came to create this marvelous experience were um, just a part of that collaborative. Um, so, painting for me is, um, you know, I'm devoted to it. And there were certain elements that I felt that I had never heard before in my education. And something told me that I would find that here. And I, I think I have. Um, so it's not only Chivita, but it's a suitcase full of ideas about painting to take back to the studio. To not change the way I paint, but to make me see it in a different way, a more substantial way. And um, to just continue on that path.
the path of a painter that hopes to have some integrity in the work. is part of the relay chain which is a force a beautiful very charming hotel you've seen it it's it's very lovely the people there are very nice and they provide a very nice uh, service for those people that would prefer staying in a hotel you know it's not like Tuscany or Umbria I mean th there's no tourists here except for artists you know um, these are cultural tourists and so um, you know things food is good and it's inexpensive um, you don't have um, uh, the distractions of a tourist industry here. There are no Pinocchio stores, you know, um, and um, uh, it's a real town, you know. It's unspoiled, it's retro, um, it's beautiful, and um, it's, um, you know, everyone that's come here so far just kind of gets blown away. They said, you know, like, how come no one's ever heard of this place, you know? <laughs> <laughs> right, right. You know, um, you know there are excursions every Thursday to, you know, major art venues. Um, you know, we're talking Naples to see the Pompeii and frescoes. Rome is a short train ride away. Firenze, um, Bologna to see you know, to see the, the Mirandis. Um, you know, every week there's a um, Excursion, and um, most people come here, um, you know, in order to see these things. You know, because you just can't see some of these things elsewhere. The indirect gaze, um, you know, at least for me, you know, has become so so much more important than than the direct one because the direct one. It's just so information-based, you know. It's just so full of literality and um, and um, and the indirect gaze, you know, like you know, judging or weighing a shadow, you know, in relation to a light, you know, by almost not looking into the shadow, but you know, focusing one's eye on the brightest thing there, and then kind of weighing, so to speak, you know, the the effect. Uh, of the relationship of that light and shadow and going back and forth that way between the light and the shadow um, you know getting a sense of it um, you know it's just one of the things that I stress and the convincingness of a painting is not because it's like a photograph uh, which people sometimes say, oh, it's just like a photograph. That's not what makes the painting great, actually. Uh, it is compelling because the painter had enough painterly wisdom to extract from his subject the elements that were necessary and put it together in a way that speaks a painterly language that people understand. Painting is a language and we do our best to teach a language of painting. This is like a mirror that I've, you know, I found here um, in a more simultaneous manner. In other words, you're seeing the lights and the darks together on a you know, far more, you know, on a two-dimensional, because it, it helped me see the big things, the relationship of the big shape, you know, the buildings, you know, to the sky. You know, it gets rid of overly dark things in the nature, kind of selects them out. I love the image in this. I mean, I think it's just absolutely terrific. But it's a, ter it's a serious work tool. See, like, you know, while, while looking at this now, you really see just, you know, what kind of shadow you know, that building is in, you know, with the lightness of the, you know, of the parking lot and the sky, you know, that middle, that middle space there, you know, which I certainly want the eye to go to, you know, kind of silhouetted, contrajoured, and that effect was very seductive to me.
not like you're gonna hold your hand at all, which is good. So it, it's what you make out of it. And so it's more of like a community base type of program where everyone's kind of does lunch together sometimes, dinner, you meet other artists and you learn from them and you just have discussions about art. And so that right there is super valuable because everybody's also learning from kind of the same source and the same um, structure, you know, the same kind of philosophy. And so it's good to like pick people's brains at, at all times. And we're all artists, so we all love talking about art. And the way that the program is structured is they really kind of take care of everything for you, which is really nice, you know? You know, Allison does a great job of that. The town's small enough where you can kind of just like, I'm only, I only live like a five minute walk from here, you know, and I can enjoy this view every day. I really like your pictures here. They're they're great. Thank you. So how do you like uh, how do you like it here so far? I like it very much. This is my second time, and I want to come back. And where are you from? I'm from Hong Kong, but I'm a Korean. And what's your name? Jung Sun. And you were studying a lot with uh, Catherine this time. Catherine and David. And David, very good. Not, uh, you know, this place is open to certain affiliate faculties. Well, what that means, an affiliate faculty member is, you know, somebody who's teaching, you know, either at an art school or a university or has private students that would like to come and bring, you know, bring a number of students and we set them up, you know, either with studio space, yeah, classroom space rather, you know, the infrastructure, the various excursions, amazing place, you know, just jaw-dropping landscape.